Hey and welcome to Hank's True Barbecue. So True Barbecue is what it's all about and I'm trying to come up with different things I can cook in my offset. I've done most meats and I started playing with desserts which is a lot of fun and they add a lot of flavor when you add smoke to it. But today we're gonna do a drink. Now that might be counterintuitive you think but actually I came up with the perfect idea of something to do in the offset smoker eggnog very common in the winter if you go on skiing vacations you probably had it but i was thinking how can we add extra flavor and well eggnog is really good because it contains a lot of sugar but most importantly fat in the form of cream and milk so we're gonna cook it in the smoker we're gonna go put it in the smoker twice first the milk cream mix then the complete mix and then we're gonna pour it and serve it. It's gonna be really good so stick around. But first since it's really cold outside I'm gonna fire up this baby right away. I'm gonna use kindling for the first 10-15 minutes to get a roaring fire going and then keep adding splits not logs so the temp stays well basically so I can warm up the smoker before we put the egg yolk, uh, eggnog in there. So let's light a match and see how it goes. Now, as you can see, I piled the wood or the kindling just like that, like I usually do. I'm gonna get a fire starter match going. Add some more kindling. I've tried many, many ways of starting a fire, but and I guess there's no right or wrong way as long as it gets going. But this for me is like by far the simplest. And I like just using the oak wood I'm gonna use for cooking also. And using kindling usually gets things going pretty quickly, even though it's cold outside. It's looking good, got a good start, time to add some slightly thicker kindling and soon enough some splits this is good all right the smoker is up to temp here's the ingredients i got a disposable aluminum pan it really helps because you don't want to uh, stain or color the kitchenware in the smoker i did add a 50 50 mix of cream cooking cream and milk uh, most people use milk, but I kind of like the extra richness when you add cream, so I went with a 50-50 mix. The full recipe is available on my website, hankstruebarbecue.com. Now for flavor, we're adding cinnamon and some cloves. And that's it for the first part. These now go into the smoker. That's gonna be good. Now we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes. So while we're adding that good smoke flavor to the cream milk mix, I'm gonna add some cream richness also by mixing up some egg yolks, four egg yolks with some sugar. So we're gonna get the blender going right away and get this one really thick and fluffy. Airy mix. Man, this is nice. Talk about outdoor cooking. You can smell the firewood. It's gonna be really good. We got the egg, no, sorry, the milk cream mix in. We're gonna smoke it for 10 minutes, take it out, stir it a little bit, give it another five or 10, and then we're gonna combine it with eggs. We're well on our way to a tasty drink. So we're holding steady temp, which is nice. I'm gonna stir a bit. Basically you wanna exchange the cream on the surface area with the one underneath. So keep stirring and that's gonna add even more smoke flavor. This is good. I'm gonna leave it for another 10 minutes. Then we're gonna get started mixing the egg and the milk. You can see we're rocking a steady 130 Celsius to 65 Fahrenheit, which is good, but the egg 
cream milk is ready the first part of the smoke's done so let's mix the two now is a real good time to use gloves i forget every now and then but well you live and you learn try to get this one out without spilling oh perfect i'm gonna mix these two really carefully and why i say carefully is because this is hot and this is egg yolks and I don't want them to go real thick and lumpy right away so I'm just gonna add just a bit at a time slowly and surely with the with the blender here my old school blender so I'm just gonna add a bit start blending and then add a little more once So, got it all blended. I'm gonna add it back to the pan with the cinnamon stick. Just about barely, I can fit it in here. And now, uh, this is going back into the smoker. Once again, I get to practice my waitering skills. They're not top notch, but well. No spill this time, so I'm gonna leave it for another 20 minutes. I'll stir every now and then, but soon enough we should be able to serve a nice smoked eggnog. All right, the eggnog's done. We've smoked it twice now. First 10 plus 10 minutes with the egg, sorry, the cream milk mix, and now with the eggs in it, 20 minutes. And now we're gonna make the adult version. I'm gonna add some rum, spiked, because I really like spiked eggnog if you don't you can use well just go with the alcohol free version or you can add some brandy whatever you choose bourbon i guess is a classic uh, barbecue liquor so i'm a big fan of that too anyhow mix and match add whatever you prefer or go with alcohol free version either way it's still good all right time to sift it and then serve it I'm going to use a classic sieve. The sieve removes, uh, well, the cloves we've put in, but also if there, just in case there's any lumps in there. See if I can do this again without spilling. Should be okay. Yeah, there you have the cinnamon stick, the cloves and everything. Oh, this is going to be good. Perfect. Real nice. added some Christmas tree branches for looks but now it's time to serve also I kept an extra uh, what's it called cinnamon stick just for presentation should be good gonna add that right here nice gonna do one alcohol version one alcohol free version so I'm just gonna add a bit of perfect all right Time to taste this. Right, nice warm smoked eggnog. Cheers. Oh, this is good. I gotta say, I haven't tried the alcohol free version, but this one with a bit of rum in it, just perfect. Nice. Mm. All right, if you haven't tried eggnog, you need to smoke it. If you have tried eggnog, but not smoked it, you need to smoke it. You can do it in an offset, you can do it at a regular kettle grill, doesn't matter much, but it's a great way of enjoying a hot drink when it's cold and wintry and real nice winter landscape outside. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you guys next episode.